Welcome to Module 3, Lesson 10. Let's get started. Today we'll be learning how to use the distributive property as a strategy to multiply and divide. We are learning this so that we can multiply and divide fluently in real life situations. We'll know that we're successful today when we can use the 5 plus n pattern to multiply and divide. Look at this array. Write a multiplication expression to match the array. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are six rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are eight in each row. The multiplication expression would be six rows of eight or six times eight. Next, we'll use a 5 fact to break apart the size of the groups. Notice the red line is after the fifth column. So we're going to say there are six rows of 5, and there are six rows of 3, or 6 times 5 plus 3. Now we'll write equations to label the parts of the array. Six times five and six times three. We can solve the problem two ways. We can say that six times eight equals six times five plus six times three or we can say that 6 times 8 equals 6 times 5 plus 3. Remember that when we see the parentheses, we want to do what's in the parentheses first. So on the left hand side, we would first multiply 6 times 5 equals 30. We would multiply 6 times 3 and we know that that's 18. Then we would do the operation of addition, 30 plus 18 equals 48. On the right hand side, we would first add 5 plus 3, that is 8, and we know that 6 times 8 equals 48. So either way the answer is 48. Now we can use the break apart and distribute strategy to solve the equation 64 divided by 8. So we're going to break this apart into two different expressions. We want to keep the 8, but we want to have two different unknowns. And we want to do this so that we can make it easier to divide to divide 64 divided by 8. So what number could we put here that would be easier to divide, easier than 64? Let's try 40 and 24. We know that 40 plus 24 equals 64. So we can say that 40 divided by 8 plus 24 divided by 8 equals 64 divided by 8. So we can solve by adding the simplified equations. Forty divided by eight equals five. Twenty-four divided by eight equals three. So then we would add five plus three equals eight. 
Now we know that 64 divided by 8 equals 8. Okay, now it's time for us to put that to the test using the redraw-write strategy. So I'll read first. It says, use the break apart and distribute strategy to solve 8 times 7. So I want to think about how I can break apart 8 times 7 to make it easier to solve. And I know that my objective is actually to use a 5 plus n strategy. So let's try using a 5 fat. to solve. And I'm just opening my Google Jamboard and I'm going to write 8 times 7 equals something times 7 plus something times 7. And as I said, I want to try using a 5's fact, so I'm going to say 5 times 7. And I know that 8 minus 5 equals 3. So that means I'm going to put the 3 there. So 8 times 7 equals 5 times 7 plus 3 times 7. So what's 5 times 7? Let's count by 5 7 times. Ready? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So 5 times 7 is 35. And what's 3 times 7? We can count by 3 7 times. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. So now I can say that 8 times 7 equals the sum of 35 and 21. So 5 plus 1 is 6, and 3 plus 2 is 5. So 8 times 7 equals 56. Let's look back at our question. Use the break apart and distribute strategy to solve 8 times 7. So for my sentence, I'll just say that 8 times 7 equals 56 because 5 times 7 plus 3 times 7 equals 35 plus 21. So I've shown how I reached my answer and I've described it so I've completed the redraw right question. Let's check our work. Answer, 8 times 7 equals 56 because, okay, so there's another way we could have done it. 8 times 3 times plus 4, that's another way that we could have solved it using the break apart. Now it's your turn to do a redraw rate problem on your own. So we'll read the question together. You'll draw a math model and write a sentence to answer. And then when you're all done, you can look in the description box below to check your answer. Here's the question. Use the break apart and distribute strategy to solve 72 divided by 9. Okay, go ahead and pause the video. Answer the question and check your work. Do your very best work and I'll see you in the next lesson.